In 2007, Ghana first discovered oil off the shores of Takrade in the western region. In 2010, Ghana started producing oil in commercial quantities, making it one of Africa's oil exporters. After five years, we take a look at how this change has affected the lives of ordinary Ghanaians. With the advent of crude oil production, Ghana's future looked bright but also posed many unanswered questions. Many outsiders warned of the Dutch disease that has caused numerous oil producing countries such as neighboring Nigeria to fall from oil tragedies rather than reaping their benefits. The Ghana government promised the local people, especially those in Takrade, that oil profits would directly benefit their quality of life. Traditionally, the people of this region are fishermen and tend to live in very poor conditions. Since the oil was discovered five years ago, Takrade has undoubtedly expanded. But is this actually helping the local people? Large businesses, foreign experts and opportunists from all over the world have moved into Takrade, but the necessary infrastructure has failed to follow. Um, Takrade has changed dramatically. Invariably, this addition to population has a negative impact on social facilities because uh, over here, where I'm st standing now with you, sometimes a whole week we don't have water. In addition to businesses, the Takrade area has also seen a sharp incline in hotels, luxury apartments and nightclubs over the past five years. This attracts a certain high class of investors, but along with them, criminals and prostitutes. Takrari used to be a quiet fishing town. It is rapidly growing to a modern metropolis, but such rapid growth has only allowed time for population increase and not infrastructure development. Surprisingly, the fishermen of Takrade are in a worse situation than they were before the oil drilling began. The oil giants neglected to consult the fishermen before drilling and they claim this intrusion has affected their livelihood. Fishermen are banned from deep sea fishing 60 kilometers offshore as they will be too close to the oil rig and pose dangers to themselves and the rig's operations. There has been speculation that the oil drilling is affecting the numbers of fish in the sea. A fishmonger who had trays full of smoked fish five years ago now says she hasn't had any fish to prepare in weeks. There have been multiple reports of dead whales and sea mammals appearing on shore over the last two years which has never occurred in Takrade's recent history. The entire nation of Ghana along with Takrade have high hopes for the oil export and its future profits. However, judging from the immediate change that has affected life around the oil rig, would the government of Ghana be able to fulfill all of these promises and maintain its reputation as the most peaceful and prosperous nation in West Africa. <laughs> <laughs>